Hey there, Bridge family. It's Pastor Jeff. And today I want to talk to you about the power of attitude. Attitude. When you think about God's promise that his children can live without fear so long as we embrace and live in his faith with his grace and his glory at the center of our hearts, he's promised us that not only can we live without fear in faith, not only can we live with peace by faith, but he's shown us through his commands and through his character that our attitude oftentimes will dictate the altitude that we are able to get to. That it's not enough sometimes to know the truth, the facts that by faith we can overcome fear. The facts that by faith we can have peace. But there's another component here. It speaks to our attitude when it comes to the promises of the Almighty. It comes to our attitude in regards to the promises of the great I Am. I want to encourage you to check your heart, to evaluate your attitude in the midst of all that is going on around us. If you're continuing to struggle with fear, if you're continuing to struggle with a lack of peace, I promise you that that is a cord that is connected to the root of some form of unbelief. And oftentimes when our attitude shifts, again, the fact is that if the Spirit of God is in you, you have the ability to overcome fear by faith. You have the seeds of peace embedded in you per the Holy Spirit of Almighty God. So if we're continuing to struggle with these things, I promise you that it's more than just a matter of faith and trust. Oftentimes, it's a question of attitude. Again, our attitude so often dictates or limits our altitude. So on this day, if you find yourself wrestling with all the have-tos and ought-tos of what it is to be a Christ follower, I beg you to get with the Lord. I, I plead with you. I urge you, get with the Lord in prayer. Plead with him to give you the power of a want-to and a get-to attitude. It can and does often make all the difference and I'm talking to the Christian world here. I'm not talking about the difference between the lost and the found. I'm talking about those found who have peace that is being lived out. That found community of Christians who have truly overcome fear. Not because they have to or ought to, but because they get to and want to. Attitude, friends. Attitude often makes all the difference in the world. Show me a Christ-centered, Christ-like, God-glorifying attitude, and I'll show you a witness that's worth following. Amen and amen.